magician. Magician, uh, right here with me is Magi Jake, otherwise known as a caretaker. His real name is Jake Lindsay. Uh, he's a magician, um, I believe, of uh, what, 14 years? I think it was five years. Oh, like, okay, I was off by a lot. I'm a magician yeah. of five years, um, and I have some questions to ask him, and we're going to just do a little bit of an interview, but before... Uh, we do that. Let's start off with some magic, shall we? I'm, I'm, if it's okay with you. That's fine with me. Go right ahead. Now, most of the time I would do this with music, but I don't want to do copyright stuff. Sure. And you see when nothing's inside the silk? Pulls it <laughs> by. Now, if you imagine, a candle appears from nowhere. Nice. But Wait a minute. I don't want to get any danger in here, so I just made it disappear. Awesome, I like that was really good. Bravo. Thank you. So I have a trick for you, and then we'll get into our interview. Sounds good um, to me. So uh first of all, just so I get a feel, um let's try let's try something really simple. Um I can do some mind reading, like some mental magic or uh, sight of mind, okay? So, first, um, <clears throat> I'm really fascinated by numbers, you know, like my, my math, how they end up, add up, and kind of like binary, you know, how like numbers would, would associate with letters. So, numbers and letters really fascinating to me, adding, subtracting, names. So, I'm going to try to combine Letters, names, and addition and subtraction all together. Uh, not addition, addition and subtraction, but numbers anyways. Um, so what I mean by that is, first, what I want to do, we'll start from here. Uh, I want you to think in your head, don't say anything out loud, but think in your head um, of any two-digit number. You got it? Got it. Okay. Now... We want to add uh, letters here. So what I want to do is I want you to spell out that number. So, like, for example, if it was 98 and you can change your number if it was, you can put N-I-N-E-T-Y-E-I-G-H-T. So spell out your your number. You got it? In your head? Okay, now let's make this easy. Let's focus on the first letter in that word. You got it? The first letter. Now, what I want to do is, um, let's try this. I want you to think of a name with this letter. You got it? Yeah. All right. So, I want you to, do you know anybody with this name? Mm-hmm. Okay. Think of the name. This name, this name doesn't have four letters, does it? No. Okay. What I want to do is, if it was like a longer name, like Frankie, I want you to cut it down to Frank. If it was like Abigail, cut it down to Abby, right? Now, is this a boy? Yep, it's a boy. Okay. Um, so, uh, now... This name, could this have four letters in it, but, or it's three letters? If it's you three. Care, huh? Three letters. Three. All right. Um, does this person, try to imagine this person. Imagine what they're wearing. Imagine their hair color, uh, their complexion, their skin tone. Um, this is a white person, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and they're wearing, they have brown hair or blonde? Blondish. Blonde hair. Okay. Um, it, he's, he's not too tall, but he's not too short, right? Kind of in between. Mm-hmm. Um, were you thinking of Todd? 
No, Tom. Tom. No. You're close. It was it was close. It's a T, right? Mm-hmm. Head. What was it? Head. Nope. It's not Ted, Tom, or... It's, is it with a T? Mm-hmm. So I know it's a T. And it's, it's three letters you said, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write down what I think it is, so I, I'm committed, right? I can't change my mind anymore. Okay, what was the name? Tim. And I can open this up. That is cool. <laughs> that is really awesome. Thanks. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one more at the end of this to follow up on that. But let's get into the actual interview part. First, I know we did this whole thing already, but let's pretend like we're starting fresh. Go ahead. I introduced you a little bit, but go ahead and tell us more about yourself. Basically, when I was younger, I don't remember what age, but I went into a magic shop like. When I was a, I was a wee little lad, I don't remember my age, but I saw my first magic trick. I was like, oh my gosh, how did that happen? I want to buy that instantly. I bought the trick, then it's all history from there. Nice. So what was that magic trick that you bought? I don't know if you said or didn't catch it. It was a Symbology deck. Symbology deck. That's where you can get a special, well, it's a magical deck where you can figure out what card somebody is thinking of, or you can use it to magically make all the cards the same. Right. It's a magician's deck. Some people have heard of it, even if they don't do magic, Some, some, uh, or maybe dabbled in magic, some never heard of it. But it's a cool deck. I think I, I do have one. Um, now... That's how you got started into magic. You said you've been doing it for five years. Now, how often a day do you practice? I practice about five hours a day on one magic trick. Well, you're going to get really good really fast doing that. I don't have that kind of patience. Um, that's really cool. They're really committed. Now, you do somewhat professional magic. I mean, you do shows. So how did that start? How long ago did it take to get you to that status? It took about two years to get my own show. The first ever show I did was at a senior citizen's home. And they're like, hey, you're good. Can we advertise you? I was like, sure. Then that's how all the people got to know me. The senior, the first show I did, advertised to the locals. Then they brought me in. In history from there. That's awesome. So, um, and that's a great tip that I learned from Mystic Sai Baba, although I know the Lotus. I don't know if, if you're friends with him on Instagram. I did an interview with him. He's on my YouTube channel. Um, and he said that's how he got started out. He just does nursing homes. And it's a great thing because as, as I reiterate him and uh, re quote him, uh, you know, Old people are just laying around the nursing homes with nothing to do. So they want to be entertained. They're bored of tears. Just like people being on this coronavirus, people are bored of tears. I got all these professional magicians lined up to do interviews with me. I'm like, the only reason they're doing that is because they have nothing else better to do. <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. But um, now, what would you be your advice to somebody that wants to do magic full time or even part time or get into doing shows? If you want to do magic full time or as a hobby, the bed, the three rules to follow: never reveal your magic tricks, never do a trick twice unless you're able to with the magic trick, right? And 
Never reveal a man. Did I say reveal a magic trick already? Yeah. Yeah. Or don't never reveal a magic. Never, never do a trick twice. Never do a trick twice. And never, ever be rude to the person you bring on stage. That's a good point. And that's even when you're doing stage magic. If you'd be rude to the person, they're going to just become a heckler. And it's not going to help the situation. And the only the only excuse to be rude is if somebody is a heckler and you say you're ruining the magic for everybody. That's the only way that you can be slightly rude because that gets actually everybody on your side and tries to dismiss the spectator and everybody's on him going, you're ruining it for all of us. So that's that's the only um, way to get out of, you know, the, other, the only excuse for that. Now... Where do you see yourself in five years? You answered this question last time, but as, you know, I mean, go ahead and reiterate. In, in about five years, like, I don't know which job it'll be, but when I've worked about five jobs before my magic career, the current job, that, like, not now, but at some point I want to quit a job I don't know which one yet, and do magic full time. That's awesome. Very cool. So, what are the five jobs that you've had before? Before you, uh, you know, are doing what you're doing right now. I've worked at a county fair as a in a job coach scenario. Uh-huh. Rather, and I've worked at Burger King, Walmart. Um. What was the two other places? I actually forgot. That's okay. So out of those three that you named, or the five, if you can remember them as you talk, what was your most fa- What was your favorite place to work at? Um, I think Burger King because I got a discount on the food. <laughs> That's always nice. Um, I heard that Walmart is kind of rude to their employees. Is that true or not true? You know, honestly, there are some people that are rude. Like, trust me, there are tons of rude people there. But mostly the people I know, they're still nice to me. No. There's just a little bit of bad things there, just a little bit. I guess it's not necessarily the people, but I meant was as a company. Was it a good company to work for, even though it's not your favorite? Oh, yeah, it was a pretty good company. But the hours is why I quit, because... They made me work so many hours. It just it just stressed me out in the head. And... Right. Um. That's very very neat. So, what do you like most about magic? What is your favorite thing about it? My most thing, the best thing I love about magic the most is their sheer reaction to people seeing it. Cool. Yeah, the reactions are important. Uh, some of my most favorite people that I follow on YouTube are through Magic Live, you know, because you get to see their reactions. It's not just about the trick. It's about the joy and the awe that we bring to a person, especially if they're not a kid. If you can get an adult to freak out like they're three years old running around on, you know, drugs that they're not supposed to take, then, you know, like, it is your job, you know. Um, now, we kind of covered this, but I want to question it a little bit differently. If you could give one piece of advice to any magician starting out, what would it be? Like, the best. Aside for what you said, like how to, you know, if they're just starting, they don't know where to start, you know, they, they don't know where to start ground up. Like, how do you get to magician status? Basically, read the books that they sell with magic tricks in them, buy magic books, read the magic trick, practice it as much as you can, then show it to people. And if they still don't like it, keep on practicing, then that's how you get into the rhythm of it. Very good. Yeah, um, you know, and I'll add this. You mentioned if people don't like it, practice to get better. There's going to be haters everywhere, even if you're the best magician in the world. I mean, look at, uh, 
Look at Chris Angel, one of the one of the most popular, at least, magicians in the planet, or or so he says, right? Very popular magician, at least on TV and in Vegas now that he has his own show. Yet he has medieval magicians, mostly magicians, that think he's terrible. And why? Usually the way the reason why people don't like you as something is because you're better than them at it. You know, and you, you're more successful. So that shouldn't get you down. That shouldn't encourage you. Um, is there anything? I mean, we'll just keep this short because I have another friend calling me to do an interview. But is there anything else that you'd like to say or that you'd like to talk about? And don't don't feel like you have to shorten yourself. You're fine. Um, the best way to become a really good Facebook magician, like posting videos and all that stuff. If you film a magic trick, you gotta watch it yourself before posting it. Because yeah. if you post it without watching it, the people will see a mistake you don't see. And then that's how they put the hate onto you. Yeah, that's a good point. And because especially today in this culture and age, or this era of magic, a lot of it is camera magic. Not necessarily that you're doing camera tricks, but you're just doing magic for the camera because we live in a technological age. And not only is it fun to do because it's an instant interaction, but it's also a good way to get your name out there. So kind of use it as an advertisement for public performances. So uh, we'll end this here. Do you have anything else you want to say or no? Um, not that I know of. Okay. So uh, in the beginning of the video, I did this trick. I revealed the name. Right? I got into your mind. Uh, well, I'm going to give you a chance to get into my mind. A lot of people ask me, oh, you know, first of all, think about, you know, uh, the, the way you can use mentalism for him. I mean you can figure out somebody's birthday if you can't remember it you just go up to him and like wait oh that's a birthday or you know something anniversary or even um more closer to home is your bank pin code right that's something you could steal money of course you don't want to do that but it's kind of a neat thing to know or something a pin code on their phone but we're gonna go with a bank pin code um i'm gonna tear this in half from where i put tim and just put a little piece of paper here, okay, and a pen. Um, instead of me getting your bank pin code, a lot of people ask me, how can I do this? Is this something you can learn, or is this just a gift? Well, it's something that you can learn, just like magic. Um, and so I'm going to kind of, do you want me to teach you? I'm going to have you try to read my mind and read my pin code. Now, do you want to just go for it, or do you want me to give me some advice and help you? A little bit. And give me some advice and help me with it. Okay, cool. So basically, pin codes are by, are like if you make a pin code on your phone, for instance, it's usually by instinct. The first four numbers you think of, you plug it on your phone. And you have your pin code. Same thing with the bank pin code. They ask you at the bank, what 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 do you want your pin code to be? Usually, you don't think about it. You just go, um, for some of that first four numbers that pop in your mind, you use that. So it's the same thing with this. You're going to kind of connect with me. So in order to connect, I want, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then we'll get into the you mind reading me. Uh, Jake, what is your favorite color? Red. Red. Mine's yellow. Okay. You suck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what is your favorite genre of music? Um. Hmm. I don't know what type it is. Uh, horror music. Yeah, horror music. Horror music or metal, kind of with a scary undertones, right? Uh, I like metal, uh, Christian metal, because I'm a believer. Um, uh, sometimes I listen to the secular stuff too, but I, I'm personally careful with that because they can get in your mind and stuff. Uh, but I also like rap, you know, hip hop, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's, uh, that, that can not get us. Then we know a little bit about each other. We know how each other thinks, you know. Um, so now what I want to do is in your head, you're going to guess my pin code. I'm going to guide you. What I want to do is the first number that pops in your head in a second, not now. 
I want you to use that number as the first digit and see if we're connected on that level. So um, before we do this, I want to count to 10 together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, two, three four, four, five, five six, 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 seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. So in your head, think of a number between one and ten. You got it? Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a chance. Sometimes you create a pin code, but you second guess it because you want it to be good. So do you want to change your first digit or do you want to stay with it? I'm going to change it. Okay. Now, I'm going to help you change it. You're going to tell me, do you want to change it to make it higher by the original number? Do you want to change it from the original number higher by... A certain number or lower by a certain number? Lower. Okay, lower by how many? Don't say anything out By four. No, no, don't say it out loud. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so give me, in your head, go from your original number and subtract or add to it. Got it. Okay. Did you you subtract it by four? Or mm. how much did you subtract by? Got it. No, how much did you subtract by? Oh, one. By one? <laughs> From your original number, you subtracted it by one. Yes? Was it the seven or the no, newer don't, ones? Don't tell me what your number is. Oh. Oh. But by your original number, you subtracted it by one, right? Yeah. Okay. So that'll be your first number. What you have now, the number you have now, that'll be your first number. I'm going to see. I'm going to write it down. Okay. But think in your head. Don't forget that first digit. Now the second digit, do you want to go higher or lower by your original, by your first number and by how many? Higher or lower and by how many? Lower. Okay, and by how many? Got it. No, by how many? Two by three? Oh, by two. Okay, lower by two. Um, and go ahead and so, Remember those two numbers. Remember the original number, the first digit, and now the second digit, lower by two from the original. Um, and well, I'm gonna stop because I'm 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 writing out my code, but I want to see if we're connecting. But we're gonna do the next two without me writing things down, and then I'll write it. The next number, do you want it to be higher or lower than the second digit? Um. And by how many? Higher. Higher. Okay, by how many? By one. Okay, so you get the first digit, the second digit, and the third digit, right? Yep. Okay. And then the next digit, do you want it to be higher or lower by how many? Higher. By how many? Three. Okay. And you okay, so you got the first digit, the second digit, the third digit, and the fourth digit, right? Mm hmm So it was it was uh, the first digit and then you subtracted it by lower by two, right? Mm-hmm. And then the next digit was higher by three or four? Three. Okay. And it, it was lower by three or higher by three? Which which digit? The third digit. Lower by three or higher by three from the second? It was higher. By three or four? By four. Okay. 
Um, and then your last digit, was it higher or lower from the third digit? It was lower. By one? Yep. Okay. I'm going to write this down here. This is my pin code. Let's see how close you were. What was the four digits? Six, five, five, four. So it was six and then lower and then higher by or lower by how many? It was six. What was the number I just said? I forgot. I think it was, I think he said six and then lower by four, right? Yeah. Six. Six. Five. Oh, no, you said lower by two. Yeah, it was lower by two. And then, and then it was higher by how many? Yeah. Which digit? The third. Higher third. from the second. I mean, I already have this written down, so I'm not going to change it. I'm just making sure. Uh, in two. By two. So, two. so it was it was six four, right? Yep, six four. And then lower 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 by by two. Yes, it was. Or, or was it or was it higher by? It was lower by two. Okay, and then. Are you sure it wasn't higher by four? Oh, yeah, it was higher. It, it was, was higher, higher by four. Cause, okay, because I want to make sure we're on the right page. And then it was lower by one, right? Mm -hmm. So it was six, four, eight, one. No, how, how much was it? was six, four, eight, one, right? Mm -hmm. I'm right. I'm Okay. Now I'm going to give you a chance. Do you want to change the last digit or do you want to stay with it? I'm going to stay with it. So six four eight one, right? Mm -hmm. Would you be impressed if you? Uh, to, would you be surprised by your own ability if you got my pin number right? There you go, buddy. That is awesome. That is cool. So you want to show me one more trick? Doesn't matter. It could be the same card trick from yesterday or another one. Pin. I'm going to bring my little friend out. He's going to say hi to you. Okay. If I can find him. Hey, are you over here? Oh, he's dying to see you. Hey, you better come over here. You better say hi. Mm. Hello. Hey, don't be bashful. Say hi. No. Wait, wait what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Wait. That's what cool. the I don't see anything hooked up to it. Where's he going? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! This thing is crazy. <laughs> Can I hear you? <laughs> so you know what? That should be your your kind of. Persona, you should be like the horror comedian. You know, try. I would encourage you to do that. Do music sometimes. I mean, that's cool. That's fine and dandy. But try to create some pattern. You know, because you don't want to. My advice to you to get better, because even though I have only done so many shows and I don't do it professionally yet, like I just do it as a hobby and semi professionally, but. Over the years, what I would recommend you do to make it more interesting and be having a channel of my own and learning from there is don't do the same way of magic and style all the time. Change it up. You know, like with my channel, I don't even just do magic. I do comedy. And since I'm a Christian, I do sermon Sundays where I answer questions that people would have about the Bible. Go explain the Bible out, you know, in a, in a good heart, not not you know, being like, oh, I know better than you, but just sharing. Or in your case, just, you know, you have the music, the horn music, maybe you can add 
some comedy patter like that. You can do storytelling, you know, like with horror, a horror theme. So I think that, but I love that presentation because usually I see you do it with music, but for you to make comedy out of it, I think that was really fun. And I know how you did it, but I couldn't see anything. I mean, except for like the very beginning, I saw a little bit of a tell, but that was excellent. I won't say nothing, but that was awesome. Good job. Thank you. All right. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. How, how can, uh, what you want to say, what is your name on Facebook? My name is the at symbol. I'm, I don't know how to yeah, make that Matt, thing. Yeah. Magi, M-A-G-I, J-A-K-E, with caretaker on the end of it. Magi, Jake, caretaker. If you and want it's all one me. word? Yep, all one word. Okay, Magic Jake Caretaker. And then what is it on Instagram? On Instagram, it's Magi underscore Jake underscore Caretaker. Okay, so very similar. And then YouTube, what's your YouTube name? Um, I actually don't remember. Okay, well, I'll put the link below in the comments and all that stuff and, uh, I'll try to put it maybe at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if I can figure that out on my phone, but we'll see. And uh, I look forward to posting this and getting people's feedback. And I uh, love doing this with you. I love you, brother. Uh, you're a wonderful person. I know you're a Christian, too, so we're brothers in the Lord. And um, I'll see you around. Yep. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Bye.